Well, hello, Dolly family. Welcome to my world of fun on this Saturday night. I really apologize for being so late. And you can talk whenever you get ready. <laughs> it talks, but the battery is really weak, y'all. I just got this from a Goodwill store. This is Rocky. Meet Rocky, everybody. And every now and then, Rocky might say something on his own. I don't know, but I definitely got to get some more batteries for it. But anyway, uh, I'm going to have a variety of tags going on in this video, and I'm actually going to upload a second video. The second video is going to be um, uh, the theme that, uh, uh, what's her name, Penny at Playful Reborn. She has the elves having tea, and so I'm going to do that tag in another video, not in this one. So stay tuned for that. And so, uh, this one right here represents Chica Monkey Monday by our Cherish Sheriffs. Okay, so that's by that channel. And also, I am going to do a Fresh Face Friday, even though today is Saturday, because I have a new dolly that I want to introduce to YouTube. I've already introduced her, but not to YouTube. So, I'm going to sit Rocky down. And Rocky is actually a Fresh Face Friday as well because I've never introduced Rocky before and this is Rocky's little dolly a monkey I don't know if I ever introduced this little monkey before and this is tiny so we got Rocky and tiny so stay tuned for them they will be back I'm just gonna sit them over yonder and I hope Rocky talks a little bit while I am recording uh, he was talking, y'all. Uh, he was talking before I started recording. Then he got quiet. Battery must be really weak. And, uh, I guess I'm blessed since he came from the, uh, thrift store that he even works at all, right? <laughs> y'all, excuse me. My throat is a little dry. Oh, so refreshing. This is Mystic Tropical Fruit Punch. Mm. My favorite juices are Snapple and Mystic. Okay. This is a, a 28 inch Barbie from Walmart. And I am representing with this doll as well, Fresh Face Friday with Lynn at My Bella Nursery. Uh, and um, I just want to show you all my new doll. She is as cute as she can be. And this is my own clothes on her. I didn't think I would be able to find real infant clothes for this doll, but she does wear a size newborn. So anybody interested in getting this 28 inch doll, Barbie from Walmart and I got her from walmart.com. I had to go online to order her. And why? Because Walmart do not sell the 28 inch black dolls in the store. Yes, and that's been going on for quite some time. If you want a minority 28 inch doll, you have to go online. You cannot just walk into your local Walmart store like you can with the other dog. But this one here was available online. Uh, I procrastinated for a long time. And like I explained to my, uh, my Dolly members in my dog group on Facebook, uh, a little girl in my church desired a 28 inch Barbie and she wanted an African American but I was so upset that I couldn't just walk in Walmart and get it um, I just went ahead and got the Caucasian doll she was okay with both she really was but she she really wanted the African American one and um, I'm not an online type of shopper usually with so that was the other reason and <clears throat> Christmas was drawing nearer and nearer and I wanted to produce the 28 inch doll so it was just easier just going to Walmart getting the doll that they were selling 
And it was like, at that time, it was more than enough of those stars to, for me to just get it. You know, I had no problems getting it. And it was only $32 at the time. Now, these stars used to be a little bit more money when they first came out. And back then, they had the black dolls, uh, the 28-inch black dolls at Walmart. But I wasn't willing to pay $125 or whatever, $100 that they were selling them for at that time. But now, they are $32. So, uh, yeah, so as you all can see, I changed her out of her original clothes. She had a cute little, uh, uh, it was some type of tie-dye type of princess type of outfit she had on, uh, her original outfit, and I should have brought it with me to show you all. But anyway, um, these are her original boots. Those are her original boots. And, um... I haven't did anything different differently to a hair because it, this is not real hair y'all this is definitely uh for play it is it's just for dark you know for decorations uh, keep it as it is um, is this is not real hair I don't know what type of hair it is it's definitely baby doll hair but you know even some baby doll hair you can comb but um, I'm just afraid that it might fall out because uh, that's what happened with Rapunzel, the, the other doll from Walmart. Um, so I don't bother this doll's hair. It's actually pretty. I have a million dolls, as y'all know already. So I don't have to comb this doll's hair. If I feel like I want to comb, comb a doll's hair, I just grab some of my other dolls, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put her aside and move on to the next uh, thing and tag that I want to talk about today. I have my own tag. My own tag is uh, New Dolly Furniture. Now, those of you all who think that your furniture has to be actual furniture, no, it doesn't have to be furniture, okay? Let me give y'all an example. I found this beautiful statue at the Goodwill store today. Uh, you see what that, that piece that got broken? Guess who did that? I did that, y'all. I, I just did it like 10 minutes ago. I had it standing on top of something and it fell off and I'm kind of upset. But I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. Uh, it broke into like two or three pieces. I might find something to fix it. And I might not. I just might not. It's, it's mine. It's not going anywhere. And it's still beautiful. This stands about, this probably is about what? We'll say 20, 26, 24 inches tall. This is pretty tall. This is a nice size statue, y'all. This is a nice size statue. It is a, a man and a woman. And let me know in the comments what you think they are doing. I can tell y'all what they are doing, but let me know in the comments if you know what they are doing so let me show y'all real good that's the back of the woman's leg that's up that's her, her foot and she has a beautiful split in her dress and she has long hair and that's the man and i'm gonna just kind of spin it around a little bit well, what I'm about to say next, I'm going to go ahead and say what they're doing because I want to tell y'all why I was drawn to this. And this is my Dolly Furniture for my tag, new Dolly Furniture. Um, they are dancing. And this is something that me and my husband used to do all the time before we got married. When we were courting each other. We went out, we stayed in public places, we ate a whole lot, y'all. We ate out a lot. And whenever we came home, which was my place, and I chose my place because my boys were still living with me. So they were kind of like my uh, chaperones, so to speak. Even though I didn't ask them to chaperone because I knew that God was watching. And I knew that in my husband, my, well, my he was my special friend at that time. Because we didn't call each other boyfriend and girlfriend. Uh, and then we became fiancés. So we knew we, we didn't want to have sex outside of marriage. So um, 
basically uh, just for that added protection, you know, that added security assurance that we was not going to fall in sin, that we were not going to fall in sin. We uh, came to my place where my boys were. Amen. So, uh, yeah, we did a whole lot of dancing at that time. Uh, dancing was uh, really big with us. And uh, recently, we renewed our vows. We've been married for five years. We plan on renewing our vows every five years. And I have added a lot of romantic things to our bedroom. And uh, I ran into this here. This is something else I'm going to add to our bedroom. And it's just to um, help us to remember how important we are to each other. We have a lot of things going on right now. And we don't want it to affect our marriage. We don't want it to affect our commitment to each other, which is another reason why I haven't been uploaded that much on YouTube is because of my load of responsibilities that I have. And uh, still, I have my marriage. And uh, it's just so much. I, and some things I've taken on, I need to probably cut out. But it's kind of hard to say that, too, because all I have to do is just balance things out. You know, I, I, I hope I don't have to cut out anything. Um, balance is the key, and, and prioritizing is also the key. And that's been working so far. I haven't had to cut nothing off that I have. I have um, Facebook groups that I haven't had to cut off. Uh, I have this beautiful, awesome YouTube channel that's growing. Um, so I haven't had to cut off anything. I want to keep it that way. Also, the next thing, the next tag I want to talk about would be, um, it's going to be, uh, play day Saturday by Patricia Dolly Dreams and and uh, Rapunzel is going to represent that and also I brought Rapunzel on because I want you all to see the size of Rapunzel Rapunzel can wear a size um, 18 months in infants um She's very skinny, but she's tall. And she's thicker than the Barbie doll. So let me bring the Barbie doll back. Okay, both of them, they are representing Play Day Saturday. And this is a Tiny Reborn. I believe it's Tiny Reborn Tuesday. Y'all let me know in the comments whose tag is that so I know in the future. But this is Tiny, uh, my Tiny Reborn. She's actually, um, I can't think of her original name from Ashton Drake, but she is an Ashton Drake baby. And uh, I have her dressed in some Dolly clothes. Uh, her original clothes will be, will be this little sweater, white tights, and a little pink sweater right here. And uh, the dress is actually on top of the other type of knitted sweater that Ash and Drake put on her. So uh, the added purple and white was from another doll that I had picked up from the thrift store. And um, so I kept the clothes and I gave the doll away to somebody else. But this was the doll that I chose to put the outfit on because uh, she, she's very small. This is a 10 inch doll. She might look a little bigger on camera but she's only 10 inches I'm gonna put her aside right now and so uh, the Barbie I forgot to tell y'all this is Piper her name is Piper and I kept Rapunzel name as Rapunzel so as you all can see um, uh, Rapunzel is much bigger she's 32 inches this doll is 28 inches and um, yeah, so and Rapunzel wears a size 2T, and Piper wears baby doll uh, size. So she, she cannot wear a real infant shoes at all. She could just wear, wear 
a real infant clothing, which is a size newborn. And uh, it's pretty short, y'all, but, um, but it's cute. It looks really cute on her. <laughs> it's cute, but it is a newborn. Um, of course, you can get a bigger dress, but it's not going to fit her waist. That's the problem. See, the newborn still don't look bad in the waist because she's very small. And the newborn still fits around her little shoulders and stuff. And I didn't even have to pin it. Okay. So I'm going to uh, put them aside and go on to the next thing I want to talk about. Okay. Give me a second. Uh, I want to also do the tag by D at the baby patch and that will be anything you want monday so the anything will be pretty much what i just talked about just now um but also in addition to that the goodwill store has some really cute items okay and this here will be another example of my dolly furniture so my dolly furniture ties in to anything Monday because this is still furniture. This is a, a like a, I don't know what material this is. It's not porcelain. Some other material uh, you all might be familiar with. Very hard, very heavy. Some people will call it a statue. You know, a little small statue, a uh, strong figurine. Um, and I found another one. So cute, y'all. So this is still Dolly furniture, y'all, because it's decorations. It's stuff that you can sit on your entertainment center, sit on top of your TV, sit on top of your dresser. These are not baby dolls. This is like doll furniture. This stuff represents dolls in a different way. I love it all. And this little angel is a little boy. How often do you see the little angelic boys? Usually you see girls and women, but you don't see a lot of males as angels. So I snatched it up. And this guy right here is part of the SWAT team and African American. And I just fell in love with it. It was love at first sight. I tell y'all, if y'all don't shop at the Goodwill, you're missing out. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. You're missing out. Go to the Goodwill. Father's Day is drawing near. Oh, my God. What? We got like one hour left or whatever before Father's Day. And I went shopping for Daddy. Got him a nice two-piece uh, outfit for church tomorrow. Uh, my husband, I surprised him about a week and a half ago uh, with a Lazy Boy chair. And he loves it, y'all. So he got his Father's Day gift early. Also took him out to eat last night. And I took him and Daddy out to eat this morning for breakfast. I took my husband out to eat for dinner last night. So uh, I've been, I've been, you know, I've been a good girl, y'all. I've been a good wife. I've been a good daughter. Uh, today is my uh, my baby boy's birthday. He turned 23 years old. And so uh, him and his brother both have birthdays. Uh, now, that's my youngest son. That's birthday is today. He's 23. Um, my oldest son, he'll be 24 on the 21st. So they are my Irish twins. And they are both the same age for four days. So I'll be working on sending them something uh, for their birthday gifts and everything and I explained to them that the Father's Day thing kind of took over the extra money this weekend So can't do for the boys this weekend, but hey, they doing good. They they okay. They can wait. They okay. They gonna be fine. They are fine <laughs> So, um, I think I covered everything for tonight uh, Let me just double check and I have to have my notes y'all y'all have to excuse me because I'm telling you yeah, I got to have my notes. So, uh, yeah, so stay tuned for my next uh, video that I'm going to upload. That video is going to be a tag for a penny, Playful Reborns, the two elves. It's going to be a skit. I have mine in a skit form. They're going to be having a little tea, and they're going to be carrying on a little conversation. Okay. And their names are 
Brian and Braylee. So Brian and Braylee, they are coming y'all way really, really soon. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And share the videos. Share the love, okay? Uh, don't forget to like the video, okay? Watch it, like it, comment, share. Hit the notifications bell if you haven't hit the notifications bell already. If you have people that's looking for other people who are doing things good on YouTube, entertainment, fun, uh my channel as you already know it's a variety of things it's not just dog related if you know somebody that's interested in a channel like mine please encourage them to smash that subscribe button i would like to reach a thousand subscribers before this year is out that is my goal is to reach a thousand subscribers before 2024 God can do it, y'all. Yes, he can, and I believe it. See y'all later.